Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we are going to go ahead and take uh, another JNU question. So this is JNU 2012, question number three. Let's have a look at the question. Let x, y, and z be distinct integer. X and y are odd. If you don't understand these kind of questions directly, you can go ahead and take some values to solve them also. There is nothing wrong with that. If you can just, if you know, this is very simple, that odd plus odd is going to give you even good enough. But if you think that there is some confusion that I may have, just take x, y, and z to be some numbers and solve. So I can take x as 7. y is also odd, so I can take y as 3. z is even, so I can take z as 2. That's it. Now I can go ahead and solve this question much more easily. So now it says which of the following cannot be true. So x minus z whole squared. So let's take the first one. x minus z whole square into y. So 5 square into 3. So 25 into 3. This is odd, isn't it? x minus z is itself 7 minus uh, 2. 5 whole square is 25 into 3 is 75. It's odd. So this itself is an incorrect statement. Let's have a look at the second one. x minus z into y whole squared. So this is going to be 5 into 9 which is 45, which is odd. This is correct. X minus Z into Y is 5 into 3, which is 15, is odd. This is correct. X minus Y whole square into z, this is 4 whole square into 2, 16 into 2, this is even, this is correct. So which of the following cannot be true? This cannot be true. So this is the answer to our question. Very simply, it can be done by just interchanging x, y and z positions. Now, what do I want you to do? What you have to do is, Recheck all these statements. If x and y are even and positive and z is odd and positive, you have to tell me which of the statements are correct and which of the statements are incorrect. So pause your videos for a second. Try to solve this question and answer in the comments below. Okay.